Hey guys, how's it going? It's another beautiful fall day here and I thought I'd uh, do a little painting. Paint some more red parts for the uh, McBrick. The McCulloch 610 chainsaw. So yeah, I thought I'd strap on the GoPro and just do my thing and we'll see what we can get done. Okay, let's do it. Okay guys. So yeah, here we are in the shop. I got me some more MRO safety red that stuff is the bomb I got my coffee mmm mm -hmm. yummy so yeah we gonna paint up some parts I actually have some reds over here too that I need to use up see here's my mess of stuff 610 stuff here's our little muffler project but I gotta get the saw back together before I can do that so we'll put our paint over here turn down the radio a little bit you gotta watch out if you play too much music on youtube you'll get a copyright strike if they if the if the machine recognizes the song <laughs> so yeah what was i doing oh my cutters what did i do with my cutters I had some cutters around here. Son of a... Oh, here they are. Okay, let's hang up some parts. So here's our parts. I got them sanded. I sanded all the chips and scratches out of them and primed them with the etch primer. And then I scuffed them after the primer dried a little bit. Ooh, what's that shiny spot right there? That scares me. And you know what I've been using for degreaser? Oh, I threw it away, but not carb cleaner, but I was just, I've been using brake cleaner just to degrease this stuff. And it works pretty good. Here, let me give that a little scuff. Okay. Uh, I don't like that. There's still a little, there's still a little something on there. If you got any kind of grease or anything, you'll get fish eyes. Let's see here. Oh, that's what I should have got when I was at the store. I should have got some more brake cleaner. But this will work. A little carb cleaner will work. Just a little bit of, mm, that's all it needs. That's all it needs. You gotta watch out because the carb cleaner will eat the primer off. So now I gotta scuff it again, smooth it out. <sighs> okay. Now we gotta hang these parts up. Let's see, we'll put this little guy here. Actually, maybe we'll put him down here. Yeah, it looked like it was going to be sort of cloudy and rainy today, but... Uh, actually, here, we'll hang it in this hole. It looked like it was going to be cloudy and rainy today, but... It turned out pretty nice. Plenty warm enough to paint outside. Because I was sort of concerned about that. And then we'll hang the tank here. If you hear a bunch of noise up there, they're doing, they're building a development up there. And they're just right there putting in sidewalks and, man, when am I going to hang this thing? Oh, here we go. They're putting in sidewalks and roads and all kinds of stuff going on up there. There, there's that. Uh, I always do that. You ever, you guys ever do that when you get a roll, of, you get a roll of wire and then you end up losing one end of it. So then you start pulling the other end out and then pretty soon you just got a big wadded mess. And then we'll put this starter cover over here. Mm. 
let's see, which way do I, you always want your, the, the, whatever you're trying to make nice, you want it to face up if you can. Or get it to where you can see it at least. Yeah, that ought to work. Okay, we're ready for some paint. Nice. But yeah, look how nice it is today. Just a little bit cloudy. I was gonna show you the fall colors. Look, it's definitely getting to be fall around here. They're burning some orchard stuff across the river there, across there in the hills. There's my old yard art, the old 31 Plymouth. That thing's been, we've had that forever as yard art. My buddies drug that up out of a canyon years ago. And then here's our, we got a little grave going here that the kids did for Halloween. So yeah, there's that dead tree that we need to cut down. And there's that stump. Maybe me and Christina can get the two-man saw out and cut it down. We'll see how that goes. Maybe, maybe this weekend we'll cut on it. Maybe next weekend. But yeah, let's get back in there and do some painting. Poor old Comet, I need to figure out some place to keep that thing too, keep it out of the weather. Hey, you guys wanna see that development up here? Yeah, see? See they're building sidewalks and all kind of stuff up there. Okay. Let's get to painting. So let's see which one we need to use up this one first. So what I like to do is get the back sides painted first, whatever you want. Whatever you want to be red. Oh, hold on. I better move the Suburban. That's all I need is a bunch of red overspray on it. Hold on. <clears throat> back her up, back her up. Little more, that's probably sufficient. Nice. Here comes that, this girl drives by here in this diesel truck like three times a day it seems like and the thing is loud there it goes that's a loud one it's funny how every car makes its own tune I always know which one it is before I before I even see it okay so as I was saying Try to paint the back sides first. Get some red in there. And, and remember, when you're painting stuff, the first coat's just a light coat. You don't have to get crazy. Just a tack coat. And I'm not gonna try, well, I guess I can. I was gonna say I'm not gonna try and paint the whole back of that, but. I might as well, just to make it a thorough job. That way we won't see any trace of yellow. That's why it's nice to take these saws clear apart if you want to paint them. And then a little bit in here. This one's a little low for my liking. But it'll work, oh. And if you're gonna touch it, just touch the spots that you're not gonna, that you can't see. Back of this guy. A 
Okay, now, make sure you catch all the angles. We'll get inside here. Okay, we'll start into painting. Like I said, first coat, it's just a tack coat, so you don't have to try and cover it completely. Oh, look at that. So is this sacrilege painting a McCulloch red? What do you guys think? I think it's fine, it's custom. It's sort of like a, it's sort of like the hot rods. You can put a Chevy in a Ford but you can't, but if you put a Ford in a Chevy, it's sacrilege. So it just depends. Depends on what you're doing. See, that's laying on there pretty good. Get the tank. Hopefully I don't get a bunch of overspray on my GoPro and my glasses. Christina will be pissed. This side. <clears throat> this is actually a little bit the stuff's actually hanging a little bit too low for my liking. Uh, but it'll work. <clears throat> okay. Maybe a little bit in here. Okay, we'll let that dry for a little bit. Looks good, looks good. There's a chunk right there that I see I'm gonna get. Hold on, hold on. So yeah, if you're on your first coat and you see a little chunk of something, just pick it out. See right there. And sometimes you can just sort of smooth it with your finger a little bit and then spray it again and it'll sort of and it'll sort of melt in it might melt in we'll see we'll see what it looks like sometimes if you lay it in there move it around a little bit oh I painted my finger Load the paint on a little bit. It'll smooth out. Okay. So yeah, we'll let those let those dry a little bit. See my cool oh. See my cool Jerry's hat. Jerry's Auto Supply. They're the local auto supply place here in town. They got these cool hats. They gave me a free hat, that was cool. And then here's my chain brake, see I got it, or my clutch side cover, see it's all done. Got the chain brake back on it. Man, that was a bugger trying to get that thing back together, a pain in the butt. Especially trying to do it without scratching the paint. So yeah, we'll let this dry out a little bit. See, it was trying to run on me because I loaded the paint on there trying to fix that chunk in there. <sighs> It'll be fine though. It'll be fine. Let it tack up. Let it tack up. Oh, man. Okay, I think we're ready to put that second coat on. 
Got my fresh can here so we don't run out. Oh yeah. Blasting it on now. Now you can put the full coat on. This is where you really want to make sure you don't miss any spots. That looks good. Here's this little piece. Yeah, see that spot where it had the chunk in it? Pretty much melted in. Nice and red. Woo, look at that. Okay, I think we're good. Nice. So yeah, I think we'll wait and let that stuff dry for a good day. And then we'll start putting her back together tomorrow. Yeah, I got one more part I wanted to paint today. This is that bottom skid plate. She just needs a freshen up of some flat black. So let's give her some of that. Oh yeah. That's gonna look custom. Just to give her a little freshen up. Nice. So yeah guys. Sorry, I switched to my phone and it slipped out of the holder, fell on the ground, but yeah, it sure is nice out today. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching me spray paint parts for the McBrick, the red McBrick. And then we'll paint some more red stuff because I'm making two of them, remember? One for a user saw and one for a show saw, so anyways, we'll talk to you guys later.